You've been dispatched to a literally crumbling laboratory to recover the illegally modified pets that the researchers have been developing. The place is a mess, there are few signs of light, and you will quickly conclude that, shockingly for a sci-fi game, an experiment has gone wrong. It's a pretty standard setup for sci-fi horror, though there are still a few twists here and there. Genepanic is described as a Metroidvania-like, presumably because it is a bit more linear than the norm. It still features the expected mechanics, namely collecting movement powers that can be used to solve puzzles from earlier in the game. Compared to most games in the subgenre, Gina Panic also features fewer enemies and a much heavier focus on technical platforming. As a result, the game is quite a bit harder than most Metroidvanias, with some areas really putting your Meat Boy skills to the test. Fortunately, the controls are tight and responsive, and I rarely felt that any of the platforming challenges were unfair. Navigation can be a little bit trickier. Many surfaces crumble away when the player touches them, and these fragile surfaces often conceal passages that the player needs to take. There are little environmental hints that point to these passages, but finding them is usually a matter of intuition, and it might take a while to get a handle on that. Overall, Gina Panic is an interesting looking title that should appeal to fans of both Metroidvania and conventional platformers.